So um, thank you. I have the pleasure of uh, briefly talking to you about OCRD. Um, and um, I'm speaking on behalf also of some other colleagues um, who have contributed to this. So, um, oops. Not forwarding. Yes, okay. So first you may ask, well, wait, um, how come is OCR still not the solved problem? Well, unfortunately not if you're looking really at the sheer volume and variety of historical documents. So there's still maze, major challenges with regards to properly segmenting the layout of a page. There is, especially for historical documents, still a lack of suitable models. Nowadays, mostly everyone works with machine learning. So um, you need good models and you need good and open training data to create new models. And these are so far insufficiently available. And there are still some peculiarities that are specific to historical documents, um, like uh, special characters. You see some here, for example, the long S or for example, ligatures, um, and of course, something that modern OCR also is not doing very well, um, rendering typographical features or recognizing typographical features. So um, what is OCRD and how does it uh, come into play here? Well, OCRD is, I would say, a, a, a diverse ecosystem uh, which is united by the aim to improve OCR for historical documents. Um, it's currently established on three pillars. So there is an overall coordination project. There have been uh, a total of eight module projects that have just concluded and delivered their results that delivered software modules. And we are now in a phase where there are a number of implementation projects starting that take these developed software and try to put it into uh, use for productive um, purposes. And we have a very active uh, user and developer community. Now, since this is all uh, done with uh, funding by the Deutsche Forschungsgemeinschaft, the German Research Foundation or Association, we are still uh, mostly limited to a German community, but we do speak English. And we would be very keen to get some more um, feedback and uh, users from the international OCR community. And you can visit our website for further details. So what have we done so far? We have already been working for uh, many years, um, I think uh, five in total. And so far we've delivered, for example, uh, specifications and conventions for um, OCR as regards um, command line interface compatibility. Uh, we did some specifications for metadata, specifically for METs and we consolidated on some formats and standards that we are using and we've made a reference reference implementation of these uh, specifications and some supporting tools um, for python and of course we've also created documentation for users but also for developers who want to dive into that and as these things go with projects of course there are also a lot of publications and presentations where you can learn about the project but since this is mainly a software project, the core is that uh, we have created um, what we call processors. So that are individual software modules, um, in this case also in Python, that are available for various tasks in the OCR workflow. So that may be text recognition, that may be image enhancements, that may be segmentation, OCR post correction, what have you. There's also guidelines how to set up OCRD, how to use it, um, and how to um, establish meaningful uh, and useful workflows out of this sheer uh, astonishing amount of 60 uh, different processes. And if you want to dive into that, there's um, a quick uh, way. Well, not so quick because it will take uh, probably, depending on your machine, uh, uh, quite some time. But with three simple commands um, that are listed here, you can just grab the software and uh, install it locally. Or if you're a fan of uh, containerization, you can also just use Docker. Uh, last but not least, we've also created guidelines for transcribing document images for use as ground truth. So ground truth, the ideal or perfect transcription result 
um, that you can use either for evaluating the quality of an OCR or actually also for training uh, a, a model, for example. Uh, we also provide a repository where we make available the ground truth data that we've created or that we are still creating uh, during the project, um, both for text recognition, but also for layout. And we also offer some models that we trained um, and we provide also some tooling support if you want to train your own model. And uh, now for what um, is really um, at the heart of this presentation, what I want to stress, especially with this community. So OCRD, we've conceived ourselves very much as a community-based um, project. We like to be very open and collaborative. So our main guiding principles are um, that we, of course, love open source and open data. So all the code, all the software we develop in the project is available on GitHub with an Apache license. Uh, and all the data we create is usually available with a CC license. So we deliberately chose GitHub as our main development environment because that would allow us to involve and include users and interested people right from the start. So from the developing of the specifications to uh, tracking issues for uh, features or use cases, everything is open and available on GitHub and you're more than invited to just dive in and get involved yourself. And um, yeah, of course, we try also to um, follow some established standards. I already mentioned METS and um, set ourselves some uh, good best practices for code development. All that, of course, with the aim to be as transparent as possible and create uh, repl replicable uh, uh, tool chains and generally foster collaboration. So if you're interested and if you have an OCR project or if you just like to learn about um, what is available from OCRD, um, this is really a call to you to get involved. And you see here uh, from our chat, um, there's people around almost 24 seven enthusiastically discussing uh, OCR issues, coding issues. And um, yeah, so you're very welcome to just either try out OCRD all, which is our um, package uh, repository, which um, you can installed to get all the currently supported components of OCRD. Or maybe if you have some uh, question or uh, you found some uh, issue uh, in one of our software tools, just uh, raise an issue. Maybe you're already using some of our code or you're going to and you found something to fix or improve. So pull requests are, of course, always very welcome. Uh, we've started uh, beginning of this year um, to create also a wiki, which is open to external collaborators and many people have already contributed some nice uh, articles there. We regularly run uh, open calls, so um, those are also announced usually via the wiki and um, there's um, usually some agenda with some technical items and um, you can pick and choose what you're interested in and just um, easily join one of those calls and become part of the discussion. The calls are also held in English, by the way. And as you've just seen, we also have our chat, which is also open. You just need a, a, a GitHub or a Google account. And it's also English spoken and yeah, usually very active. So um, as you see, there's multiple ways to get involved and um, see what we're doing. And if you're um, if you're interested in OCR, if you want to use some of our tools, um, please feel free to pick any of these of these ways. And with that, I think I'm done. And uh, thank you for the attention and hope to see some of you around soon. Thank you, Clemens. Uh, I have two questions uh, for you. One is from uh, Kim Pam. Uh, she asks, are you using or recommending standards for creating and formatting the transcriptions? Um, yes, so we, we are based on the page XML standard, which is uh, an XML standard that has been developed by the pattern recognition community, specifically by the Pattern Recognition uh, and Image Analysis Research Group in the UK. 
Um, it's been widely used in uh, document analysis um, competitions for evaluation purposes. And we've um, created these guidelines for transcription and uh, training materials based on this page XML standard. Uh, thank you. Um, you have a lot of qu uh, questions, but I can only uh, ask uh, two of them. Uh, what is the current answer to the question if this also works for modern texts, say scientific articles? Um, yes, so generally there are quite good uh, models in this case um, available for modern text, for example, the ones that Google provides for Tesseract, um, which we are also reusing. Um, so, um, in generally for modern text, um, the text recognition is pretty much very good, um, unless you have very complex layouts. In these cases, there is still, I think, the same challenge as with historical documents to really get all the regions uh, detected and classified correctly. Okay, thank you. 